And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the 2023 Centennial Showcase of Southeast Texas. The band is led on the field by drum major Cameron Knoffel from Marcus High School. And our cardinal and feature twirler is Kristen Hebert from Neerland High School. Cameron, is the showcase ready? Showcase, the field is yours for exhibition performance. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy a centennial celebration. upon a time, in a land not so far away, there lived a man named Louis R. Peach. And from time he spent in Chicago, he learned of a new educational movement sweeping the country. The movement was junior colleges, and if it was up to him, South Park would have its very own. September 17, 1923, Lewis R. Peach and 14 professors founded South Park Junior College. They opened their doors to 125 students that day, and in doing so, began a legacy of academic excellence in Southeast Texas. Let's get it started in here. December of 1941, the United States officially entered World War II. 1942 was a significant year for both LU and America. After bonds were passed, Lamar College gained a new campus in its current location, and on the war front, it was the year in which the tides began to turn. America and her allies won key battles, but not without great sacrifice.
century, Lamar College grew exponentially. In 1949, the name was changed to Lamar State College of Technology, thanks to the help of Texas Representative Jack Brooks. And after adding graduate degrees and growing to more than 10,000 students, in 1971, the name was changed again. We were finally Lamar University. Dr. Jimmy Simmons became president in 1999, LDU's fundraising skyrocketed, and in 2010, Cardinal football and marching band came flying home. Could Lewis Peach have imagined what LU would become after a century? What do we imagine LU will be like in another hundred years? No matter what the future holds, this we know. The future of our university is bright, and we are proud to be Lamar Cardinals.